soldier now. Vengeance is yours. Yo, 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 what's up, Click21? It is now officially Hot Boy Summer, so I'm going to try to keep you cool and tell you about the Warzone Optimized Pro Pack, guys. It reminds me of the old Pro Pack, the original OG Pro Pack. It's super sticky, very simple to use. I'm going to show you how to set it up, what you need to know about it, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Bye! Alright guys, two things we got to handle a little business. I want to talk about the Patreon guys if you need access to the kill shot or the demon time scripts or if you just need one on one help. Guys, make sure you check out the Patreon. Uh, we've had so many people join it up. It's been actually a little overwhelming, but I can't thank you all for the support. Uh, me and the team are super proud of what you guys have done for us and uh, just changed us. Uh, in a good way so I can't thank you guys enough for joining up on the patreon and of course if you need a VPN make sure you guys check out NordVPN definitely the best VPN on the market in my opinion if you want to bypass some of that skill based matchmaking connect to different servers all over the country it can definitely help with that but also you can use it on your phone connect to different countries and things like that definitely useful in today's age when it has all these problems with security and things like that make sure you guys check out nordvpn if you're looking for a vpn special offer in my link below in the description so make sure you guys check that out so let's talk about this warzone optimized game pack now of course as you all know with me i've been using a ton of scripts lately i don't use a lot of game packs anymore if i'm being honest just because with the scripts they're a little bit more advanced you have a little bit more customization and a little bit more that you can do with your chronos sin but now that we have 32-bit packs in within the chronos Zen studio i do feel that i will start using game packs a little bit more but i did find you know the call of duty warzone optimized pack probably one of the if not the best pack right now it was just one of those things one day i was just playing around some different packs and i was like actually this pack is pretty good you know we haven't been able to really duplicate anything that matches the original call of duty warzone pro pack which is this one right here in my opinion the only thing about this pack is it doesn't have any of your vanguard weapons in it um, and I think it has most of your Cold War, but it doesn't have Vanguard. So that's the best thing about this Warzone Optimized pack right here, the Pro Pack. So we'll go ahead and pull it up. Just Guys, when you pull up Zen Studio, of course, go to Programmer. Hit that third button on the left, and then you'll see these uh, packs right here. And then we're going to do the Warzone Optimized pack. That's the one we're going over today, guys. You drag that to your slot, and then your menu will pull up. And you're going to match all this to your in-game settings. So make sure you know, you know what sensitivity you play on you know what button layout you play on and then of course your dead zone and then of course your minimum input dead zone which is usually at 99 unless you've changed it so you can leave that the same i play on 0 0.06 dead zone so it's going to be six here and then seven seven sensitivity sometimes eight eight but seven seven right now so we're going to leave this at seven right here for stick sensitivity now once you go through this pack you will see you have your xbox elite mods that's only if you have an xbox elite controller guys so if you don't have an xbox elite controller don't worry about any of the elite mods um, you do have your different types of global mods. You have your, uh, when it comes to block rumble, slide cancel. Those are the only two I use. Now, of course, if you wanted to use rapid melee or auto hold breath, you could enable all four of these abbreviated mods right here in the list if you wanted to do that. It's totally up to you guys. I only use with this pack is block rumble and slide cancel but if you are going to be sniping you might want to use that auto hold breath or if you melee a lot you might want to use the rapid melee totally up to you it's just a preference so go ahead and enable whichever global mod you want it's really up to you guys if you want to turn your hair triggers on on or off if the cool thing about this package you can actually do either or trigger you don't have to have it on your left trigger your right trigger you know as both being on you can just do one or the other which is really cool because if you use that other trigger to do different things it's you know sometimes not beneficial to have it set up as a hair trigger so i found that pretty cool within this pack and i was just kind of surprised you know at all the people that didn't know about this pack so that's why i wanted to kind of cover this video and the aim assist is very easy to set up guys so of course active aim mod we're going to go ahead and turn that on you can have it disabled now of course if you're playing multiplayer you could do turbo hop aim hop aim crouch aim whatever you wanted but the only one I recommend, you know, running around in Warzone is probably going to be Aim Assist. Now, of course, you could do Ping Aim even if you wanted to. I'm running around with Aim Assist right now. And, of course, we'll update this video maybe once we play around with it for a few more weeks. But I'm pretty comfortable in where it is right now. Now, for the Aim Mod activation, I've got it on any ADS right now. The only two I would recommend maybe would be 
the doing the ADS any or maybe you could do the ADS fire or ADS only but for now guys I have it on any ADS so I would just leave this on any ADS for now if you want to change it, you could do ADS fire just see what you prefer it just depends you know when you want that aim assist to kick in when you start firing or whenever you ADS so I like it whenever I ADS right so that's kind of the whole point right so that's kind of like your L2 spam you know think of it that way uh, when it comes to Fortnite, all my Fortnite homies, shout out to them. I will be doing some Fortnite videos this week, or at least a video I'm working on. So keep a lookout for that. I know uh, y'all have been asking for a lot of Fortnite stuff, so stay tuned. We're gonna be covering some Fortnite, and maybe we'll go into you know Apex and stuff like that as well. So uh, make sure this is any ADS, and then of course Turbo Mods Delay. Just leave that on default. That's only if you're gonna be using the Turbo Mods, such as like your Crouch Aim and stuff like that. The delay in between, uh, you know, your crouches and stuff like that. So I wouldn't have messed with that. Now, of course, this comes back to your very simple aim assist, just like you got with your original Pro Pack. So you usually start at, I think, a 15. I usually turn it down a little bit to a 14. Some people even turn it up. This is just totally a preference. There's no other aim assist setting that you need to change, which is the good part for a lot of people. They don't want to mess with the radius or the steps or, you know, your tracker or senses or anything like that, like you get with some of these scripts. So it's very basic. Just however strong you want the aim assist to be. If it's too shaky, turn it down. If it's not shaky enough and you're not sticky enough, turn this up. So very simple on that. And then of course, active shot mod, totally up to you guys. I usually, you know, maybe you want to do ping shot. That way if you want to tag your uh, opponents. So when it comes to the anti-recoil mode, guys, I usually go with on enemy for now. I've been playing around with dynamic on enemy, off enemy. I haven't noticed a huge difference if I'm being honest. You know, it, I guess it's supposed to detect, you know, whether you're on the enemy or off the enemy and if the recoil should work or not or when it should kick in. Uh, for now, I have it on on enemy. I'll do some more research and just kind of see if I'm, you know, a fan of the other one anymore but so far it's the same pretty much you have your weapon swap mode make sure that guys is set to automatic of course so it can tell the difference between your secondary and primary now for the guns of course the profiles themselves you can go ahead and set those up as you would like so far i've only really been using the xm4 and then the armagera and the owen and stuff like that recoil values are always going to be around 25 to 30 and the negative one for the horizontal and of course secondary is a little bit stronger i might go up to like a 32 right here and then negative one this is all going to depend on what your sensitivity is what gun you're using what scope you're using and of course your fov and things like that so you might have to play with the recoil a little bit but it's very simple just like with the old pack so don't be scared of it it's just all it is is changing values you can set up i think the weird thing is it's only got four profiles for some reason with this pack uh the other ones had like five or so it's just kind of an odd number but support purposes only i uh, don't really worry about that that's really all you got to do this is the easiest pack that i've seen you know with the vanguard weapons it actually works like the pro pack guys so make sure you try this pack out let me know if you're using this pack already in the comments below if you like this pack what you like about it what you dislike about it what you want to see next on this channel guys i appreciate all the love and support i got some banger videos coming up that i'm working on uh so stay tuned for that some other content not just with the corona sin so anyway guys that's it for this video guys i'm gonna leave you with some gameplay from this game pack and then also some from the preview of the kill shot one dot is it six now or one dot seven I don't even know, dude. The latest kill shot that'll be up on the Patreon very soon and then within Discord very soon after. I'll leave you with some preview of this gameplay, guys. So if you have any questions, make sure you drop a comment below. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that sub button. I appreciate the love and support. Enjoy the gameplay. Go enjoy Hot Boy Summer. We're out. Deuces.
Under fire! Gas is closing in. 